week, we're gonna make a Dutch baby. <laughs> Why is it called that? Okay, so for some backstory, I made Stroopwafels last year, year before, in a video a while ago, and a bunch of different people independently recommended that I try to make a Dutch baby because the Stroopwafels had mixed results. And then I was talking with my lovely friend, Samowich, who is an amazing person and artist and Baker and her and her husband have a really dope catering company called Clever Foodies. You should check them out, especially if you're in the Los Angeles area. They make very cool stuff. This is very much so not sponsored. I just think that they're two of the greatest people in the world and want good things to come their way. So anyways, back to my bullshit. Sama sent me a recipe from her grandmother. Supposedly, these are very easy, but we all know how very good I am at fucking things up. Let's get into the thing. Here's what we need is butter, flour, milk, eggs, and powdered sugar or maple syrup. Interesting. Oh, just as like a topping. Okay, I got it. So preheat oven to 375. Look, we're already killing it. Place butter in nine inch round cake pan and melt in oven. I assume that means melt the butter and not the cake pan. We're just getting into the video and you're probably already sick of me. I understand. Let's see, cake pan would be in your muffin tins. Eight inch pan required, now let's get some butter. I suppose I can pull the other ingredients out while I'm doing this. That's so much butter. All right, we have our butter. I'm gonna toss this in the oven while it's preheating. Meanwhile, put flour and milk in a large jar with tight fitting lid. We get mason jars for days, so this is gonna be great. You like how I'm bringing things together as I'm reading it instead of, you know, doing anything ahead of time? What a surprise. And my cute little Matryoshka doll measuring cups. This is just reminding me that I bought these to get myself to bake more, and I just don't do it very often, but they look at a little face. Also, there are so many lights on in this room and I still feel like it's very dark on the, on the screen. So just gonna have to deal with it. It's kind of overcast winter's day. I don't even know what this is supposed to look like really, other than it's supposed to puff up. Also, I've never heard of this mixing technique, just violently shaking it in a jar. This will be interesting. At least I'm learning something, right? Is this the proper Dutch technique? <laughs> huh, I mean, it looks like wheat paste. Now I add the eggs. I hope I got the right size. And then Sama, because she's a cooking genius, told me to add a little pinch of salt and an extract of my choice, which is uh, vanilla, because that's what I have. Just a little bit, oh, that's probably too much. That's what I get for not measuring things. That just looks delectable, huh? I can definitely smell the butter melting. Perfect timing, because the oven is heated up now. Did they just not have like whisks back then? Ooh, it's so bright yellow now. It seems very wet. Again, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Now I need to pour all the batter into the hot pan all at once, and then put in the oven for 16 minutes without opening the door. Time to put our little bun in the oven. I slept maybe four hours last night, and I think it is starting to hit me now. Yay. All right, there's our hot pan. Dutch baby's going in, getting absorbed by the butter. That's terrifying. And little bear paws. There. I'm sure that was a very attractive squat I just did. Now what do I do for 16 minutes? You know what? It's cold as shit outside. It is 33 degrees, so one whole degree above freezing. Though did you know water starts to freeze at night? 93. Mm -mm. Water starts to freeze at 39 and a half degrees. And I learned that because I failed a chemistry test. Best way to learn is uh, do poorly on your exams. Yeah, I'm gonna make hot chocolate. Nothing fancy, just out of the packet. And uh, clean up while that's baking. And the water is heating up. We are two minutes in. Isn't that appetizing looking? That's how I feel on the inside. Hashtag mood. All right, I've got my very, very high class, expensive, bougie, hot chocolate mix. It's the one with the little marshmallows in it. How childlike, you may say, to have a marshmallow in your hot chocolate. You ain't seen shit yet, my friends. Let me introduce you, if you're not already familiar, with the greatest hot chocolate topping of all time. Is a marshmallow fluff. Barely even moves if you flip it upside down. That's what you want in things you're putting into your body. And if you didn't know, because A, you're not a New Englander, or B, you just don't give a shit, this was invented in Massachusetts and is one of the key ingredients in a fluffer nutter sandwich, which is just this and peanut butter. Which I haven't had an actual fluffer nutter in a very long time because my body hates peanuts for some reason, even though I fucking love them so much. Dipping a freshly cleaned spoon into this jar used to drive me nuts when my siblings would stir their hot chocolate 
put the spoon in their mouth and then dip the like chocolate and mouth cootie ridden spoon into the fluff jar. Speaking of uppity New England ingredients, I mean these are always gifts so it's not like we're spending the money on it but Jesus Christ. Hot chocolate, you just get the biggest scoop you can muster and you can do it in a couple parts. Don't worry, no matter how much you get on here, it's not gonna sink. It's not even coming off of the spoon. Basically sugary insulation. I forgot there's almost like a pearlescent quality. So that's, that's probably enough. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Let it do its magic. Pack this away before I eat the rest of it. I know that more New Englanders are familiar with fluff. Let me know your thoughts on fluff. Have you tried it? Have you heard about it? Are you horrified that I'm about to consume this? There's even a fluff festival that happens every year. Part of me wants to go, but the picture that's always on the Facebook event is a 10 or 11 year old getting his hair covered in it. And I don't know if you saw me try to get that off of a spoon just then, but that seems like a if this gets in your hair, you have to shave your head type dilemma. I mean, I'm most of the way there now, so if I'm gonna ever do it, I guess the time is now. Fuck, am I talking myself into going to the fluff festival? So this is the beauty of fluff, is it all melts into one thick layer and it holds the heat in. So if you're standing outside dealing with horrible weather, even if you put this in a little travel mug, it uh, really holds the heat in. It's a great insulator. I guess I wasn't kidding when I said it's basically insulation. If you're thinking to yourself right now, well, if only it were pink, then it could be insulation. There is a raspberry flavor. I never put that on hot chocolate. That is pretty much exclusively for Fluffernutter sandwiches. Although why raspberry and peanut seems like a better combination than raspberry and chocolate to me. I also don't know why I am the way I am. I'm feeling very like hyper and high energy filming this video. I think it is because of lack of sleep, but I just need to be locked away in a very empty room for the next half hour after I eat this. And now it's all gloopy. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, so we still got a couple more minutes on the oven. What's the deal with maple syrup where you're from? I don't know if we just make a big deal about it because we're trying to be Canada. By the way, I'm from New Hampshire, if uh, that was not getting across. <gasps> oh my god, okay. I'm so nervous. Something definitely happened. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god, there's so much fucking butter. But holy shit, but it looks so good. <gasps> yeah, I don't know if butter is like integral to the baking process of this or it's more of a releaser for the cake pan. Oh, it's already less puffy. I'm hoping for like a French toast type taste. And now for the nectar of the gods. Dutch, Dutch, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's tuck in. It does cut kind of like a French toast. I'm just moving you all around the kitchen. Hey, Clinton, if you're watching this, look at who closed their microwave. Mmm. -hmm. Sama, you're brilliant. I could fuck with this all the time. It's so eggy and I love it. I could and kind of already do eat eggs pretty much every day. Thank goodness I'm home by myself today because I'm going to be bouncing off the walls. Yeah, ma'am. 10 out of 10 recommend this. So grateful I have this in my life now. All right, while we're here though, for reals, I do need to figure out what the name originates from. It's hilarious and endearing but uh, I need answers. I feel like I'd be disappointing my best friends if I didn't spend a little time researching this because whenever we hang out in person, this is what we end up spending our time doing is either looking at maps or researching the history of things. This will come as a surprise to you. I hang out with a bunch of fucking nerds and I love them so much. All I'm seeing is that it's another name for a German pancake, which all for. I am of German heritage, so I, I can appreciate that. Oh, also called a Bismarck. That's a fun name. It always makes me think of a Johnny Horton song. And this will, I can't even say this will be me dating myself because that came out probably 50 years before I was a person. I was very into Johnny Horton as a kid and the Kingston Trio, cause I'm ancient on the inside. Proven by the fact that as soon as I tasted this, realized this would be a great breakfast for like Lego boyfriend and I to have if we're snowed in this weekend. And we can eat them while playing a game of cribbage. Well, I'm gonna go be a sugar fiend and do Sudoku and uh, fucking live my best life, you know? In a shocking turn of events, I didn't have the focus to close out this video, apparently, once I was full of sugar. I didn't realize till I was just about done editing it. So here we are. I did finish my Sudoku, and yes, I use pen, cause I'm a goddamn monster. If you would like to watch the Stroopwafel video I mentioned, I will put a link to it up this way. If you would like to subscribe for more debauchery, I'll put a link up here. And if you'd like to come over and hang out at my Patreon and get some bonus madness over there, I will link to that down this way. I hope you're all having a good weekend. If you're getting hit with this crazy storm, I hope you're safe and you're able to stay home. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Damn, that's a good bake.